So I always encourage entrepreneurs and businesses, you don't have to look at the input the same way anymore. So let's take banana, for example. You have a stem that produces fruit. You eat the fruit, you have the leaves for your cooking, but that stem was just something that was just cut and left to, to rot in the farmer's garden. So when banana fiber processing came around, we not only saw it as a way to extract fiber, you can extract the liquid from the stem to make banana fertilizer. You can use the waste products to make banana fiber papers. And then the actual fibers themselves can be made into crafts and very many different products that the world market is demanding for. So what's really fun is when you can come up with fun and creative ways to use waste. Now, with the banana fiber waste, you're making paper, you're making bags, you're making boxes, you're making them to gift boxes that can be used at different holidays, whether they be the shape of a heart, the shape of a Christmas tree. That's what's really exciting, because when you get to be creative like we can here, the sky is the limit, honestly. We are a 30-year-old fruit processing business. I've been excited to be a part of this business for the last 11 years. We started out as a Mubisi company, making banana juice. So we're really known as being banana experts. And when I came along, we were asked to do dried fruit. So we started almost 10 years ago doing all natural dried fruit. We do mango, pineapple, banana, watermelon, jackfruit, anything that you can dry, we can process here. So what excited me most about Uganda was I just saw tremendous opportunity between the entrepreneurs, the amazing fruits and vegetables that we have here, the beautiful weather, I just figured this was the makings of a great business growth opportunity. So when I found Jakana Foods, it was a match for me. And I, I saw that there were so many different opportunities that I could be a part of. So I think the major thing that we've done to stay around these 30 years is constantly look at the ever-changing demand of the market opportunities. So when a new product comes along and I can pivot our expertise from perhaps one product line to another, for example, we're banana experts. So we started in juice, we moved to banana dried fruit. Now we are a banana fiber processing expert as well. So you always have to look in business to see what are the trends, what's emerging, how can you use your current expertise and how will that help you to grow your business. We do over 25 different specialty food markets every month from Mbale to Arua to Fort Portal and then right here in Kampala. And by doing that, we're able to create jobs, we're able to keep other businesses alive, and we're able to find a solution for those that are looking for those international products that they can't find elsewhere. I wanted to be able to go for a 100% circular economy, especially when it comes to our fruit waste. So two things that we do. Everything that we process inside of our factory, all the waste comes out here to our organic urban farm and goes into our compost pile. After a few months, it's then put into these beds and it's our natural fertilization. Now, if there's anything that's a seed, for example, mango or jackfruit, what we do is we throw those seeds into a heap and they start to grow trees. And then every Earth Day and every World Environment Day, we're able to give out thousands of tree starters to our farmers so that they continue to grow the varieties of plants that, they, that we want. Then with our regular production waste and non-production waste, we also do not allow any materials to come into our, compo into our compound that I can't either recycle, reuse, uh, or throw into our compost. So we've really worked with our supply chain to ensure that they are also being sustainable for the environment so that we can be as well. When it comes to banana fibers, as I had said earlier, when you're looking at a banana stem and you've got a waste of a stem, it just falls in the garden and compost. But you know, when you just have scraps of banana fibers left over from your other projects, we actually use it as mulch here in our garden to keep down our weeds, to limit our water uh, consumption, and to be able to have healthier plants. So recently, Jakana Foods was awarded the opportunity to be only one of two companies 
in all of Uganda to be now be testing biodegradable plastic packaging. So with the uh, Uganda Biodiversity Fund, we're very excited about this opportunity because if we can continue to put our products into packaging that customers can then biodegrade um, into their gardens directly, then of course we're going to be contributing to the cleanliness and sustainability of this country.